it's like next. I think it eats your attack, but you can do it every round though. You just so, so someone in chat is writing that it just eats up your movements. Oh really? Somebody? Yeah, it's yeah. There you go. But not your attack. Uh, at least that's what I'm. Yeah, it, it is eating up your. I, I knew it. Eat, I knew it ate up your action because it it does the same thing as D and D next. So, yeah. So you can you can shift, but you just won't get an attack. And you only move half, half your movement. So, but I, I don't think it's once an encounter. I think you can do that. Uh, you, you use a move action. You shift one and do not provoke. You can shift one square for your move action. Can do it at any time. Yep. So I could still yeah. attack. Hmm. No. Yeah. He, yeah. 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 It just eats up his movement. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. Gotta love learning new games, guys. House twenty-one. Uh, that's a hit. Are you attacking the top or the bottom one? Uh, the top guy. Okay. Yep. And uh, for a sky flourish, my damage is dexterity for and charisma. Uh, plus whatever the weapon is. And because I have rogue weapon talent, weapon die increases by one size. So to be a d6 plus, dex and charisma, so it'd be a plus six. That was some spam. <laughs> Batista spam. And he can have seven. <laughs> Alright. This one right here, correct? Uh, the one on top, yeah. Okay, gotcha. He is in bad shape, and he is barely with it anymore. Alright, so Batista, you are up now. Alright, I think it's time to end this guy here. And stepping in this with an arcing strike which there's nobody behind me so that's not too bad but I think it does extra damage here let's see what it does here yeah let's see what it does this is an encounter power too right the adjacent enemy again you guys make sure you're yep. taking you know you're keeping track of your dailies and encounters and stuff like that so absolutely haven't used any yet. I've only used one. No, it's definitely a hit. That's ten damage. Okay. And the target is marked as well. So even with the minus two penalty, uh, he is marked. And what does Mark do again? Is he, is he kind of bloodied or anything? Uh, probably not. No, he's not. Yeah, when marking a target, they get a minus two as well. Okay. And they're saving throws and attacks. There you go. Thank you. Shamash, you're up. Shamash is going to grin at this guy. And he's going to use an <laughs> encounter power of crushing blow. The so guy right here. That's the one. All right, sounds good. Just make you uh, make sure you do a minus two on that roll as well. So uh, twenty two is 20, still a hit. Twenty two versus AC. Yeah, it's still it's still definitely a hit. Three d one hundred damage probably. That just sounds like a vicious attack. Oh. I don't believe that. <laughs> Fumbleia! Nine damage. He hit him, but he forgot to use the sharp end. Right. Uh, he's still he's still okay. He just kind of shrugs it off and kind of smiles back at you. <laughs> Action point. Oh, here we go. Action Pulling that point. card out of the deck. There we go. go Swinging again. Reaping strike. All right. I knew you were going to pull that card out of your deck eventually. 
eventually. With anger and a grin on his face. 21 versus anyway. AC. Fuck. Yep. Reaping strikes the one where you do half strength modifier. It does modifier six damage or like if that. you miss. No, that's uh, that's cleave. No, I thought it was reaping strike. Eleven damage. Oh yeah, if it's if it's a miss, it's uh, half strength modifier. That's a nice hit. He's definitely Better. bloodied. That's for sure. He's less than bloodied. All right. So now we're up to the first goblin warrior. He is going to advance a little bit on our scene and take the shot. An attack, of course, melee shot, that is. And let's see. His attack is a. Uh, I'm sure, pretty sure it's a hit, a 21. And. Yeah, that's it. That is a warrior, so his damage is. Alright. Uh, you take a total of 8 damage from that hit. Uh, the second warrior, which is over here. That's actually the target that is on Shamash. Uh, you've pissed him off, and he's going to attack on you. And uh, I'm pretty sure a 16 misses. It's a miss. All right. The right. Let's see. The Skull Cleaver. Attacks Batista and a 20, 14 plus 6. I believe that's a hit. Very good. And you are going to take a total of 7 damage from the Battle Axe. The second Skull Cleaver, which is here, attacking uh, Alcine. He advances up and he attacks. And he misses with a two. Awesome. No problem. Yay. That's good I can for you. Survive. All right. So now uh, the hexer is up, and I'm going to see if one of his skills recharge, and it does. Nice six. And let's see. One, two. Uh, let's see. Batista, you are the target. And you are going to be attacked with a uh, stinging hex. And that is a 16 versus will. So if you have a uh, will that is 16 or lower. He gets a plus one from Boom. It's right at 16 then. Okay, Ooh. so you will take uh, 3, 6, plus 1. So you take a total of 13 damage. Holy crap. And... Okay. You don't take... 13 damage right now. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do. You take. I'm sorry. It's 3d6 plus 1 damage if you move during its turn. So, literally, that. I haven't moved. I just yeah, it, you don't take any damage, but you do feel a sensation come over you. So, so that's how that works. So, all right. So now you're. I know you're not going to move now. So, but you haven't really moved in any of the other rounds. So, all right. I'm Been just standing there doing some defense there mainly. Getting used to all this cool 4.0 stuff. So, all right. So you're you're good to go. So you really don't take any damage. And let's see. But you do have stinging hex, and uh, that is a standard action. And that's. Uh, that's all you can do. All right, so we're back to Tamanuk. All right. Um, the top guy uh, to Alcine. 
Is he blooded? This guy here? Oh, oh, this no, guy. Yeah, he's in really bad shape. He's, you know, got okay. several large gashes and puncture holes on him from from Alcine already. So, he's in pretty bad shape. Okay, um, an encounter power is on his way. Ooh, ooh, burn those encounter powers. If you would just take it easy, because it's a new encounter power which I just recently got. Okay. As we are new level threes, so Is I have that to your just spring check it renewal out. strike or something like that. I think it's that one. Uh, yes, that's the one. Um, just gonna find my macro real quick because I never made one. So it's your wisdom versus fortitude. Yes, yeah, so it's twenty-one versus his fortitude. Yep. Oh yeah, that's definitely hit. His fortitude okay. sucks. Eight damage, and LC can spend a healing surge. And if he so chooses, we're playing to spend telepathically, surge, Crow. He will get an additional two HP. All right, I did expend my healing surge. So add the two HP as well. And that was for Spring Renewal Strike. Yes. Uploads. People. Yeah. I believe I've used two since we okay, So he can spend the here. healing surge because your penguin is adjacent. Adjacent, him. yes. Gotcha. All right. uh, and that was. Um, what about Batista? He's within five feet. Yeah, but I can only use one. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I could use it on all of them, it would be a, a bit too much. Uh, definitely, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think I have any minor uh, minor actions I can use, so I'm just gonna move Tamanook up a bit. Yeah, I was starting to have some problems with uh, to there. and I'm done with type frag. All right, nice move. Alcine, you're up now. All right. Um, <clears throat> Alcine will use an encounter power. Uh, it's called the King's Castle. I am going to draw out my short sword because I can and then I will try to stab at this guy, uh, this guy's neck. This guy right here? Okay. Yes sir. And uh, a minus two to a hit roll, right? Yes, because of your uh did you count that in my cloud. attack, by the way? Yes, I did. Okay, good, because I forgot. Yeah, it, it, it didn't matter, because he has got a he had a really low fortitude, so... Uh, I had 13. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is dexterity versus reflex. So, do I take my dexterity versus his reflex? Well, it would be your... If I'm not mistaken, the attack roll plus dex bonus versus reflex, right? Yes. Uh... Okay, so it would be my attack roll plus five minus two, which is three, and then plus another dexterity modifier. No, it would be your one d twenty plus your dex mod versus my creature's reflex. All right, so that's my roll is thirteen versus reflex. Okay, so that would be an eleven. And the warrior has a 17, which is a miss. Oh, no, no. no a it reflex. wouldn't be 11. Yeah, versus reflex. But I already counted the minus 2 in the attack roll. Okay, well, he has a 15 reflex, so. Okay, then he misses. Yep. Yep. And uh, I would like to. The minus 2 did you in, man. I know. I know. Uh, but, uh,. I would like to shift another five feet as my move action. My plan is coming to fruition. Dave, on that on back. that minus two, is there a save there. ends or anything on that? Mm. Nope. No, no, because uh, he uses his 
minor action. That's why he's not moving. He uses his minor action to con uh, maintain it. Since yeah, sustain the zone. I just wanted okay. to double check, but no, there's no save. So all right. Yeah, but I I can move it as well. But there's just really no reason to move it actually. So. But all right. So Alcine, you've moved. Uh, Batista, you're up now. Alrighty then. Is this guy bloody in front of me by now? No, he's not yet. Still not bloody. This guy. Right, just kick him in the face. Thank you for everybody checking out the channel as well. All Hope right. you guys are enjoying it. Where is it at? We're still learning fourth edition, so combat's a little bit slow for us still. But once we yeah, once we get the you know the the feel for everything, it'll go much quicker. It'll go quicker like 5.0 or D and D next. Uh, that is definitely a hit, and you do five damage. Did that send him into a bloody state. Uh, not quite. So Schmash, you're up now. One, one second, I got a uh, minor action here. I got to right. healing hand. Speak up, speak up, speak up. Yeah, I didn't say in turn yet. <laughs> And I do all my rolls with dice, so I, I don't use the... 4th edition has allowed me to do that, so it's been pretty nice. It's been nice to roll dice again. Alright, so you're using a heal, huh? Yeah, they lay on hands. Let's see, Divine Touch instantly heals wounds using a healing surge target. It gains health from my healing hands. Ooh, nice macro. All right, so you get back a total of 12, huh? All right, and then that's it for you. And Shamash, you're up now. Starting to become pretty cluttered here. Shamash is turn, huh? I'm going to... Uh, sure is Shamash. Let's get him, Gator Boy. You're next on the on the list, there. Well, gonna swing on the same one, yeah. Reaping Strike. Go for it. Missed that one. It's only a ten AC. Ten minus two, which is an eight. So that's definitely a big miss. You want to use an action surge? Oh, wait! You're all out of action surges. <laughs> oh, keep it up. Keep it up. I had to do that. So, uh, who all has encounters and dailies left? Has anybody used a daily power yet? So, nope. Not nobody. Okay, I and didn't think so. I, I missed with my encounter, so I still have it. Okay. No. If, I thought I it consumed think. it. I thought it consumed it. Consumes your power. it. If you yeah. miss with your no, encounter, it's still if going. It, if you miss with it, I thought it didn't matter. It was just like it, like it never happened. I nope. think it, it. If it's stated that it's not used, if it missed, then I you know. the divine strength and the arcing smite, or well, the, uh, so far the vigilance smite. All right, the so that's something else we can add to the list. So, oh, uh, none, none of them in any of these say if it misses, it's not consumed. I had to look at it. I had to look at the rule book. Yeah, an encounter power is just that. Once per encounter, hit or miss. Alright. GG. And what was what was the other thing we were gonna check on afterwards? Your something the about mimic. your Yeah. Shifting. Uh, I typed up shifting up there for us. Yeah, yeah, shifting, yeah, it was pretty much the same thing as D and D next disengage, uh, so I'm not worried about that rule. What about uh, we wanted to look for something about the the penguin spirit as well too, right? Uh, to figure out Resist. how to deal with the f uh, f uh, uh, blah, blah, the Whoa. reflex will and fortitude. Get it out there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> are you having a are you having a frosty beverage right now? Uh, no, it wasn't frosty. It was uh, lukewarm. Oh, oh, nice. All right, so we're back up to the the goblins now. So, 
Uh, goblin number one, again, is going to... Actually, he's got another target that he can... You guys are really bunched up. I'm going to put you right there. <laughs> uh, put you right there. Alright, so this is basically... And also, I'm going to get rid of y'all's names after after this week as well, because you guys know what your your tokens look like now. So, actually, no, we'll we'll keep that up. We'll keep the names up. All right. So yeah, the, that way the viewers know. Yeah, the attack you on you, on Mr. Alcine, uh, is probably a miss. It's a fifteen. That is a miss. Uh, versus armor class? Yeah, versus armor class. Yeah, it's a miss. All right. I-17. Second warrior, the one that's on you there, Shamash. He's uh, taking an attack, and that's a hit of a 26. And the damage from the warrior will be... Uh, <laughs> whopping three, minimum damage. All right. The Skull Reaver on you there, Heavy. Uh, wow, that's a hit of a 20... Anyway, it's a hit. And the damage on that is... What's the bonus damage to that? You take a total of 13 damage from that hit. Wow, that was a pretty nice cleave. Uh, the second attack... Well, the, I'm sorry, the second Skull Reaver, which is down here, is going to move up on Alcine and attack as well. Oh, shit. Crit. Natural 20. So that is going to be a total of... Did you kill me, David? No, I didn't. Only f It's 15 damage. So, But you're not bloodied, so you're not taking double damage. I so. am bloodied. You are now. bloodied now, yeah. Now, so, yeah. yeah. You're bloodied Wait. now. Do you take double damage from being bloodied? Only, only if... Uh, if he's already previously bloodied, seeing that he wasn't bloodied, then he won't take double damage. Okay, so if a target is bloodied and you attack it, it will automatically be double damage. Oh. I think Am that's I... just like a character thing. Yeah, it's 2d10 plus 5 if the target is bloodied. That's the that's his that's that he, guy's character. Yeah, or that's he, that monster. That's monster. Oh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. okay, I see. You got it. All right. So yes, now sir. we're back up to the hexer. The hexer maintains the vexing cloud in this vicinity. So that is his minor action. He cannot move, and he is going to cast. Uh, all right. He's going to cast a. Blinding Hex on any Mini Money Mo Shamash and that is oh wow nice twenty five versus Fortitude. It's a hit. All right, and now you're gonna take a total of five damage, and now you are blinded, and that's your Blinded until your save ends. Ends it. So, so I'm going to put a a little little reminder token here for you. Uh, how about something with an eyeball? Is there something with an eyeball that we can that we can? Oh, there's an eyeball right there. The old <laughs> Neverwinter eyeball. Well, it's a. There we go. So you are blinded as well, Shamash. And that is it for the goblins. And now Tamanuk, you're back up. Yes, um, gonna use protecting strike on the target I've been attacking, the guy who should be dead. Okay, yeah, well he's, if you hit him, he, he'll basically be dead, so. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Nineteen versus will. Yep. Uh, versus will. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Will's the worst one, and bam, he is down. I figured. <laughs> yeah, he he's definitely down. I'm going to. And uh, taking note that that is seven slapping damage. 
<laughs> so I I want to hear a good smack sound. Yeah. <laughs> when my penguin slaps his head off. <laughs> Okay, so that's Thank it. You, Liam, that's Is that it for you? Uh, no, actually. Uh, it was a, a minor or a standard? <laughs> that's a standard, so I okay. can move slightly. Okay, feel free to use your other. <laughs> God, that penguin just slides right over. There we go. All well right. Done. All right, so Alcine, you're up now. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Blind is so not good. Died. That's for sure. Awesome, awesomeness. And uh, I will. Uh, hmm. What shall I do, guys? I guess I'm gonna have to. One guy on you still. Yeah, I got one guy on me. You do have a guy on you. He is on you like a fly on shit. Uh, during in combat, this is a mechanics question. During combat, if I'm Ooh. not readily engaged, can I use a healing surge at all? Or does that have to be after combat? It's not I... called a healing surge, it's called something else. I, uh, hold on, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what it's called. Okay, he already uh, used his second, second wind. Second, oh, you used your second. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I haven't used the second. No, wind. no, he didn't use second wind yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, then I that's the only my... one he can use during no. combat. I no. used my action point. Yeah, he I used a, a surge that allowed him from uh, Tomanook allowed him to use a, a surge. Right. Yeah. He can he can use his second wind while in combat. Yep. Uh, I actually forgot uh, an effect from protecting strike. Uh, since Alcine is adjacent, he gets two temporary hit points. Okay, well, well, okay, that sounds good. I just forgot because it's not in the uh, in the macro. I uh, I got to read the card. <laughs> well, well, yeah, just remember to add that, in, but no big deal. So let's get back to the the actual second one. You can actually spend a healing surge, and does this cost an Let's see. Spending a healing surge in regenerating hit points. Okay, you get a plus two to all bonus and defenses. Yeah. And once per encounter, you can spend a, a second wind. Once per the encounter, you can use this after taking a short rest. Okay, gets it back. Okay, well, I'm wondering if it costs a minor action or a standard action. That's what I'm concerned I, about. I don't think it costs anything. I think okay. it's a free action. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it Yeah, did it doesn't anyway, show anything so. like that. Okay, go for it. Oh, here, okay, here it is. Standard action, yes, sir. Second so, wind is a standard action. Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I will... Your favorite thing, I'm going to shift five feet. No problem. Somewhere in this area. <laughs> Just go ahead and move your guy right there. There you go. And uh, I will... Use my healing or okay. my uh, second wind thing. <laughs> yeah, we got that ninja. Thank you. So I gained seven, right. and uh, I guess that's it for me, sir. Are Batista. these guys considered very evil? Goblins are always. They're evil, not evil. undead. Right, like, not undead evil, but just evil. Chaotic evil. Mm. I'm not going to give you an alignment, but it, I mean, it 